Great white sharks have been disappearing from False Bay in the Cape and fishermen and shark cage diving operators are blaming one another. The conservation crisis has resulted in the National Action Plan for Sharks being reviewed. Now, new and surprising research has been presented at the Two Oceans Aquarium in Cape Town. Nadine Theron brings us the details. There has been a rapid and sharp decline of great white sharks in False Bay and Hans Bay over the last three years. Shark Spotters hasn't seen any of these fascinating predators this year. Last year, shark cage diving operators told ENCA that it's destroying their business and they blamed overfishing. 14% of sharks in South Africa are endangered or critically endangered. The sawfish is completely extinct and was last seen in 1999. But the conservation of sharks and their management is hindered by lack of data, as they are mostly caught as bycatch. Now, new research indicates that overfishing smaller shark species is not to blame for the great white's disappearance, but rather two orcas with the nicknames Port and Starboard who have been regular visitors to the area since 2017. Each and every time this pair of orcas comes into Hans Bay, that the white sharks either wash up dead or they flee. We also have evidence from other parts of the world where killer whales have had a significant impact on white sharks. Environmental Affairs Minister Barbara Creasy says the mounting tension between fishermen and shark cage diving operators is problematic. Some people want to watch sharks and other people want to fish sharks. You've got to look at uh, at what time of the day are you going to do different activities. You've got to look at uh, how you manage your activities so that you are not uh, impacting on each other. Creasy says a marine protection area has not been ruled out, but that would depend on a lengthy and highly regulated process. Nadine Teron, Cape Town. All right.